So before we start the video, um, I'd just like to say, please subscribe to the channel, it does help a lot, um, and it is appreciated if you do subscribe, um, as it helps the channel, because we're quite a small channel and we need quite a lot of support just to get the products in. Um, so let's get on with the video. So this is the Vidon X6. It's a smart band from China that's very cheap. Um, so most smart bands like this you would expect to cost maybe a hundred pounds, hundred and fifty pounds for something like the Fitbit. Um, this costs twenty pounds um, and I'll have it on screen how much it costs in dollars as well. So um, Let's take a look. It has a, um, we've got a metal clasp here. Um, we've got very um, tough bands here. It's sort of it's like silicon, but it's really strong and sturdy, so it's not going anywhere. Um, as you can see there, it's got like grooves in it, um, just along the band, and a lot of different um, wrist sizes to put it in. Um, just like that, you just clip it in, like that. Um, on the back, you can see it's just, we've got plastic on the back, like that. Um, and you can see the metal pins for um, charging there as well. So this is the charging cable for the X6, um, it's just a USB charge it, plug into your laptop or computer. Um, it is magnetic and does have pins on the back as you can see there. Um, it just connects to the back of this just on those pins there. So it'll just stay like that. Um, it takes about an hour to charge. Um, but don't charge it off your phone charger, as it um, can, because the higher voltage can sort of break the battery, so it won't last as long. Um, so it takes about an hour to charge, um, and the battery is very good. Um, it lasts about two weeks um, from 100%, or maybe even a bit longer. Um, and I didn't... Um, find the Bluetooth to affect this at all either. So the Bluetooth connecting to it didn't seem to affect it much in terms of battery life. Um, so now let's go and take a look at the actual um, interface. Actually, I actually would like to point out that um, you can see here on the screen there are quite a few um, scratches down there. Um, it's not too much bother as you can still see the screen fine. Um, but it does scratch fairly easily. But then again, as well, it only costs twenty pounds, so um, it's slightly annoying, but it doesn't really make much difference. So there is a touch-sensitive button on the watch there. Um, it's not like a pretty down one. It's just got um, some little um, lumpy bits in like a like little humps in a diamond shape. Um, so you just press that to turn the screen on, and I'll just bring it a bit closer, as you can see. We have the time, so 5.04, and the date. So you say it's uh, Wednesday the 4th, and that's the month there. And as you can see, it does turn off after a few seconds, and that bit down there is the battery life. Um, if it is connected to Bluetooth, which isn't at the moment, there's a little Bluetooth symbol next to that. If we press it down again, it shows us how many steps we've taken today. The next one is how many calories and that is how many meters we have traveled. Um, the screen is really easy to see in um, most lighting so if you're indoors you can see it um, if it's a the only time it's slightly hard to see it is if you're outdoors when it is um, slightly hard to see it but if you just cover it up it's easier it's easy to see 
If you do hold down the button for a few seconds, it will vibrate. It does have, has a vibration move to it. And it'll start a stopwatch here, and then you can again cycle through all this. Um, this will just do what's happened in the period you've um, timed it for. Um, but it won't, when you go back into the app, it won't um, save it like that. Um, so I now have the app open on the phone. Um, so we'll just take a look at the app. Now we, when we have a look on here, on the watch, um, you can see there's a little Bluetooth logo towards the bottom. Little Bluetooth icon just there. Um, and that means we are connected. Um, so this is the app, the main page. Uh, you pull down to refresh. Um, it'll tell you things like the battery and stuff. And um, we here have the steps. Um, so this tells you like what, um, like a timeline of from like. So it starts at like midnight, and you can see how you've been sleeping, and it's actually pretty accurate. Um, and here we have tells us how long, how many kilometers we've gone, how many calories, and um, there's a sleep thing down there. Um, up here we can cycle through all the previous days, as you see. And it all changes, so it will remember all that, which is quite nice. Um, if we pull over to the side here, um, you can set alarms. Um, so I'm going to set an alarm for 18.22. Just so you can see the vibrating up here. So, 1823. Uh, we just need, you just need, then need to set the day, which is Wednesday. So we'll just set that. And you go back and click save. And it'll come up, say, task queue processing. And then, that's actually failed that. Um, but it should say, um, that it's completed. Um, when you go on to other settings, we can have a look down here. Um, you actually need to so there's things like anti-lost which will make it vibrate when you go out of Bluetooth signal so you don't um, forget your phone. Um, so these are all so you can change quite a lot of the stuff, The whether you want the date and stuff. Um, you just have to enable that for notifications. Um, this will work um, on the App Store, or, well, I mean on the operating systems. It'll, you have to have Bluetooth 4.0 or above, um, Android 4.3 or above, or iOS 7 or above. So it'll work if you have above that. Um, we'll just say um, the app's not brilliant. But it gets the job done and tells you all the information. Um, and it does, the notifications work really well. I must say on the band, so when you get like a text, you will know. It'll vibrate quite strongly and you can actually read the whole text. You just, so you just pop it up and it'll read. And then you just click to, well that's actually the alarm going off there. I don't know if you can see, but that is moving when it vibrates. Um, so it does work, and you just hold that down to dismiss it. Um, so overall, um, it's really a good product for obviously not very much at all. Um, the screen could be slightly stronger, and the app could be a bit improved. But apart from that, I'm seeing the build quality is really good. I also like to see the charging thing just to be a bit um, 
easier to plug in and connect. And one other thing is that the battery is not always like really reliable. And um, so after, so when you're charging it, it'll show you the battery, but um, it usually changes a little bit once it's actually up unplugged. But that's about all the things I don't like about it. But the rest is, it's a really good value for money watch, and it's really works really well. Um, so please subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Um, please uh, give a like and comment below if you want to. Um, and thanks for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one. And remember, talk tech. Thanks.